The debate and controversy over California's rent control laws will continue heading into the November election. The Secretary of State this week announced a measure that would further expand statewide rent control officially qualifies for the ballot this fall. It would end restrictions in California law and give local jurisdictions the power to limit how much rents can increase each year. Voters rejected a similar measure in 2018. We put together a successful coalition uh, to convince 60% of the voters in 2018 to vote against this. Uh, we are already meeting, uh, already putting that coalition together, and we're going to beat this again in November 2020. Within hours of the Secretary of State's announcement, several lobbying groups like the California Rental Housing Association voiced their opposition. It would be a disastrous public policy for California. It would devastate property values, make it more difficult for renters to find adequate housing, and add an expensive, complicated, unnecessary le layer of bureaucracy. Proponents of the measure weren't available for comment Tuesday. Advocates say they could be successful this time around, given the increased attention on California's housing and homelessness problem. Some calling it the most pressing social justice and public health emergencies in our time. The proposition now reigniting what's likely to be an expensive battle between supporters and the real estate industry. In Sacramento, Ashley Zavala, 17 News.